Right, in this video I want to talk about modularity, which is a kind of an, a metric, an algorithm to identify communities within a data set. So the data set I've loaded here in Gephi is the so-called uh, CPAN network, which contains all the developers um, at a certain point in time that contributed packages to the Perl language. Okay, so we, we see like how many modules they they added in, in this column we see their names etc and we see or like the, the edges give the information who contributed or who collaborated with whom on which package on which module right so that's that's the setting and uh, basically here we have in the statistics tab as we know it there is this modularity uh, statistic that we can calculate. So if I just click on run here again, I already did it, but I, I do it again. Uh, we get this kind of report, which gives us some interesting information. So we see like uh, how uh, large each of the identified modules are. So a module is just um, yeah, a community. So where, where there's a bit more density maybe in between than, than outside, okay? And we do see that there are 11 communities that have been identified. So within this one graph of 840 people, as we see up here, uh, there are like 11 communities that were identified. And we do see that, like if you look at these red dots here, we do see that there are some that are fairly small and others that are bigger, like this number eight here is, is quite huge actually with more than 200 participants. All right, so um, what can we do with that information? Because we, of course, we don't see that yet in the graph, but we can again, maybe use the colors to make sense of the graph. So again, we want to change the appearance of the nodes. So I'm in the appearance tab, in the nodes tab, but I want to make it based on an attribute. And that attribute, of course, is what was just now created in the modularity class. Let's quickly switch to the data table again so that we see how this looks like. Now we had these 11 uh, clusters, or sorry, uh, classes basically, more communities that had been identified. So they have been added here as numbers to this table. So now there should be 11 entries. So I can use this attribute, you see here, the numbers, so they are 11, but they go from 0 to 10. And I can just click on apply, and I will see those numbers rearrange. Now this is very colorful, so let's see whether some algorithm helps to see how those uh, groups actually work out. And I'm just playing around here. So now we're getting into a direction where we're seeing some, seeing some movement. So we do see the, the purple cluster up here. We see the black cluster up here. The red one, the green one is probably the, the big one. And yeah, I, I think it's 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 actually quite clear. I will stop the algorithm now because we, at least to me, I think we, we do see suddenly the pattern, right? There's a lot of the, the screen guys collaborating here. Uh, or now if you, if you zoom out, we see it even more clearer. Of course, there are some um, some people like with a different color also in the middle, right? That, that's perfectly fine because people are, of course, maybe contributing to many groups. It's not like that a module is uh, completely separated from the rest. It just says, okay, there's an increased density here. And now if you look at this, we see another phenomenon here because look at, at this node here, for instance, or that one, or here the black one, or here the red one. There are a few nodes in there that have a very, very high centrality. Um, they are like, like hubs, basically. I mean, if you look at this, uh, like visually this really looks like a hub from a wheel or so right um, so that's that's a very interesting position of course um, that can be studied on its own in, in, in various facets but for now the only the only purpose here was to explain actually what modularity is and I think this graph shows it very nicely
So we have those different groups, those different modules, and this can inform um, our, our research, right? I mean, we didn't go here with any hypothesis or so, but it could be interesting to study that, of course. I hope, I hope that makes sense.